Hey everyone, so this is the last video of the year, which means it's my annual recap of the year. I filmed myself talking about what happened to me in the year and it's 2021 and oh boy, 2021 was a crazy year for me. What a ride. Um, last year in 2020, a weird year with the pandemic and not working that much, but 2021 was the opposite of last year. Even with the pandemic, uh, I've worked a lot and I've, did, I do, I've done a lot more stuff than last year. But uh, we're gonna go by each month like usual in these videos and we're gonna start with January. In January, we had a mandatory curfew for a few months, but it started in January. And basically, we couldn't get out of the house between 9 p.m. and 5 a.m. Some sort of lockdown, but there's a curfew. And with work, you have to have a paper if you're stopped by the police during the curfew hours to prove like I am able to be outside around that time because of work. But it lasted for a few months, maybe two to three months. So now we're on to February and February I worked on the last season of The Bold Type. I've worked on this show for um, two years maybe. Like, I wasn't a full-time employer, but I was almost there every single day when we, they did outside shoot, outside shoot days, I was there all the time, and sometimes I was in studio, but uh, yeah, first production that I worked on was The Bull Type this year, and uh, didn't do, didn't work a lot with this production this year, and also it was the last season and their COVID protocols were too much in my opinion. Um, people that were there full time had to be tested five times a week. So every single day, every single work day during the week, everyone had to get tested for COVID. I didn't have to get tested every day because I was not considered a regular on the team. But compared to the other years, um, I won't go into details much, but I've worked less this year with the production and it just, I don't know, it felt a little weird. I don't know if it was because of COVID or new people. It was just weird. But that's like the only thing I did in February. Now we get into March and I'm still working on the ball type, but um, I won't go into much details, but something happened and it just ticked something in my brain. And also dreams, like when you have a dream, like not like Martin Luther King, but when you're sleeping and you're dreaming, some of the dreams that you have, have meaning to them. So I always look up the meaning of my dreams and around that time, I had a dream around that time that there was um, a big thing happening. I don't wanna say the word to not get demonetized, but uh, you know, when something bad happens and it makes the news, it's like an attack. I won't say the word, but it's like uh, the T word. It's so fucking stupid. Attack. Like, it, it's terror. It's literally terror. And I had a dream about it that I was in one. I, w I had a dream that I was in one of those attacks in Montreal, which never happens. And the meaning of dreaming about this, um, shootings, but also like, 9-11 it means when you dream about these things that big changes are coming into your life and two or three days later after I had that dream I was working with the bold type and it something ticked in my brain that I should leave like I should leave this production so um, 
um, yeah, just some, I won't go into detail about what happened, but something that really pissed me off and in my opinion, disrespected me and disrespected the amount of time and years that I have given to work there. Felt a little disrespected, won't go into much details, but decided to just not go back. They asked me, oh, can you be there for a few days whatsoever? And I was like, no, I, I can't, I can't. Also, why I couldn't is I accepted a new job with a production that gave me way more days. Maybe the salary was a little bit lower than what I did with the bold type, but in conclusion with the days that you get to work, more days you work, the more money you get despite the salary. So I decided to go work in a new production and uh, yeah, I j it just didn't feel right for me to still be on that production and decided to leave and go work on Transplant, which is a Canadian TV show. And uh, I've worked there for a few months. I wasn't a regular, but they gave me a lot of work days, which was really nice. And uh, the show's season two is gonna come out like January 2nd, I think, on CTV. So now I can talk about it because it's really coming out soon. But um, yeah, I worked on the, on this production, Transplant, uh, a lot of days. At the end of March, I worked on a production called Single All The Way. Um, it's out on Netflix since the start, since the beginning of December. But I worked on a Netflix movie called Single All The Way. It's a Christmas movie with a gay couple and uh, I was hired as a regular on this production. The last two days that I had with Transplant in March, they were night shifts. So I was working from like 5 or 4 p.m. to 7 a.m. for two days. I had one day off and the next day I had to be in Bromont at 4 a.m. with single all the way. And I worked five days straight and I was completely exhausted. Um, I was, I don't know how I did that and I'm never doing that again. And uh, yeah, worked on single all the way and until like the beginning of April. And now we're in April. So um, April, I was supposed to work with single all the way again. Well, they were like, oh, you're a regular, but you won't be there for like uh, the days that were on a closed set. So I was like, okay, sure, whatever. Like, I don't really, it, uh, it doesn't bother me. I'm fine with that. Cool. And uh, yeah, basically, again, won't go into details, but stuff happened with this production and uh, I just decided to leave. Um, I won't go into details much, but uh, I decided to leave this production for my own mental health and my own mental sake. Um, it was just, just thinking about it, I'm like getting a little emotional, but I'm gonna move on. But yeah, I uh, decided to leave. I didn't want to go back to that production and they told me, hey, we need you for like one day and I'm going there and it's a really big downgrade from what I used to do with them. Like literally my job was so pointless and useless, like they didn't need me for this specific job. And I didn't really complain there, but I was like, bro, what am I doing here? Like, it's so useless. And they had the audacity to ask me to come back to work tomorrow, the next day, and do the same job. And I just said, oh, sorry, like, I'm not available. But really, I was available, but I just didn't want to go. So anyways, this is what happened with Single All The Way. It's out on Netflix. Some people told me they really liked the movie, and uh, I'm not really a big fan. Like. It's better than one of the other movies I've worked on, which is now out. 
that I will go into details later on in this video. But yeah, uh, I worked on single all the way and uh, let's move on. I went back to working on transplant in the end of April and beginning of May, but the weeks I worked on transplant in April were a dark time in the year, but also in my life. Like, maybe I'm over exaggerating, but like, I had some digestive problems and issues. Um, I couldn't sleep because of it. Like, the first day I was supposed to go back to transplant, uh, I couldn't go because I literally couldn't sleep the entire night. And then I went back and worked normally, but when I would go back to sleep, I would barely sleep. I would sleep for like one to two hours a day. Like, it was that bad, like, like I would go to the bathroom and I'm telling you, like it's graphic and everything, but nothing would come out. But, oh, it's so, I don't know why I'm saying this, but it was that bad and um, I had like, a lot of problems like I was laying down in bed and couldn't sleep because of the digestive issues like it would just keep me up all night and the thing that sucked is I was really really tired like I was so tired like my eyes were closing but I just couldn't fall asleep because of it and I tried so many things like to make it go away. I started drinking tea, I ate stuff with fiber, I did some meditation, I, it was that bad. Like, it was so bad that I had to take sleeping pills. It, it was just a complete mess. And the next week, when I had two days off, I was completely fine. But then, I started to get like anxiety attacks. Like I would go to bed before a work day and I was like, holy shit, am I gonna be able to fall asleep and go to work not tired? Like, it was that bad. Like, I would get like so much anxiety. Like, I would get an anxiety attack for real. Like, I had difficulties breathing, I was freaking out. Like, oh my God, I won't be able to fall asleep. Like, I'm not able to fall asleep right now, it's happening again, I won't be able to work properly, like, genuinely, I was freaking out, and I still continued the methods to heal myself, and it just left, and I was completely fine two weeks later, or even maybe a month later, but now we're in May, I still did transplant a little in May, and then I worked on a commercial for Sport Expire, which is like a store with a lot of sport gear, literally. And uh, yeah, I worked for like three to four days and I don't even know if the commercial is out or not, or it was released on television in Quebec. So like, I have no clue if it was on TV, but hey, I still got paid. Also in May, a big day was I got my first dose of the Pfizer vaccine against COVID-19. I was so nervous and stressed out while going to my first dose appointment. And I documented the process of my first and second dose. And uh, literally, the only thing I got was a sore arm and I had a headache and that's it, completely fine. And I was glad to finally get my first dose out of, out of the way. In June, I worked on a French-Canadian production. It was a movie. Uh, I was hired as a regular again. And this one was really like not the greatest experience. Um, you know, I'm hired to do a specific job. I arrive on my first day and keep in mind, we were filming six hours away from Montreal. So I arrive there, I go to sleep, first day, and I was hired to do a specific job and they tell me to do a job that I don't have much experience. 
I was like, you hired me to do this, but you want me to do that. What's okay, whatever, I'll try my best. And then the next day, they asked me to be the guy that takes care of the truck and monitors all of the equipment and everything. I was like, I have never done that. You hired me to do a specific job that didn't require to do this like a job that I had a lot of experience in and now you want me to do something I have complete no experience in and I have no choice to say yes because I am six hours away from where I live and I am one of the people with the most experience there so I, I said yes I tried my best I was mentored by the guy who was struck the guy who took care of the truck and for some reason the guy who took care of the truck was now the set PA and the set PA that was there originally just decided to not be there and help someone on their moving day like really just left went back home so yeah not a good experience to be honest you're hired to do a specific job but they want you to do something else you have no experience in and you don't have a choice to say yes. So yeah, it is what it is. But uh, also in June after like single all the way and that production, uh, I contemplated and reflected on my life decisions and life choices about being in the movie industry and I really thought about quitting and try to do something else in my life like I was at that point to almost quit working in the movie industry like it was that bad like I was like brother 2021 I'm working but it's trash like it's really bad and I almost quit the movie industry but decided to stay and I think I did the right thing back to transplant for a few days they were my last day with them during the year and went to Quebec City with my older sister I vlogged and filmed everything on our trip it was compl a complete blast like finally going back to a normal life traveling a little uh, with this pandemic like really was a good thing for the both of us and yeah I had a great time in Quebec and after Quebec we went to my mom's boyfriend's cabin in the wood with all of the family celebrated Canada Day celebrated uh, the birthday of one of their kids so it was a complete great time now we're in July and after Canada Day party and whatsoever, I start working on the biggest production I have ever worked on so far in my career. Like it is genuinely, it was the craziest, most insane and most dangerous <laughs> production I have ever worked on. Like when I say dangerous, I, I mean it. I fucking mean it. But it was... An incredible experience working there the movie is coming out in summer 2022 if nothing gets delayed but this was truly a, an incredible experience for myself I've met a lot of new people created a lot of contacts like really a great experience for me and I had fun also in August, I've worked the entire month of August on this same project. But as I was saying, they were night shifts. And at one point, I've worked seven days in a row. Seven days in a row. Worked seven days in a row at night. One day off. And the next five days in a row, daytime. So I was completely dead, at least after those five days. I had two days off, then one work day, and after I got three or four days off and just went back to work. So that was pretty intense. And I also worked on this same production in September. We wrapped around the end of the month, and uh, yeah, uh, had a it was a wrap. 
had a party with people from the production, from my department. And yeah, uh, a great experience and fun time there. And it was my first production that I've worked from start to finish at full time. And uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun there. Now we get to October, finally like uh, days and days off, weeks off from work. And I was back to a normal life for a little. Um, I went back to the movie theaters with friends, saw Venom 2, uh, No Time to Die. And I went with family to the Bell Center to watch the Montreal Canadiens against the San Jose Sharks. Even though they lost 5 nothing, But yeah, I did stuff from normal life again. And around the end of October, Bo started to work on a new production full time and with a better job position, which I'm glad I have. But yeah, it's crazy because the job that I have right now, I gained experience from the French Canadian production and used it on the one I'm doing right now. And it's just funny and also um, karma got served. Um, I was on the production in summertime and uh, someone that one of the person that almost made me want to quit working in the movie industry karma served them they got fired <laughs> oh, karma's a bitch karma got served karma served that person I'm glad it happened I start working on a new production in October the entire month of November, I'm still on the same production and I won't go into much details because we are still in process of filming. And in December, I still worked on the production and now I'm on a holiday hiatus right now. Supposed to go back to work on in January, but received an email recently that there might be some delays because of the variant and yes, now we're in December, uh, the Omicron variant is spreading fast around the world, it's intense. And also when the variant entered the province of Quebec, I went to see Spider-Man No Way Home in theaters and I went back to Quebec City with my sisters for a Christmas market and we just spent the day there. And uh, yeah. And also in December, like I said, Single All The Way was released on Netflix, but Home Sweet Home Alone got released on Disney+. Plus. I worked on this movie in 2020, and um, yeah, that movie was complete trash, horrible, but hey, thanks for giving me a job and paying me, Disney. I spent time with my family during Christmas and the holidays, and I'm going to be with family again, uh, going to a cabin in the woods. That's I'm going back to the my mom's boyfriend's cabin in the woods during the end of the month and the end of the year. And that's basically how my 2021 year was. Um, worked a lot. It's the year I have worked the most in my entire life so far. Um, went back to normal life a little. Some of the stuff I've worked on in 2020 got released, personal issues, life-changing decisions. It was just a crazy fucking year. And uh, I think I'm gonna end this video right here. Thank you for watching this video. Happy New Year's. Uh, this video will probably be released before the New Year's, but uh, still, thank you for watching again. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can follow me on my social medias that will be in the description down below. And you can turn on the bell for notifications when I post or go live. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.